Welcome to the Spurgeon's Devotional Podcast, a Christian podcast seeking to honour the Lord Jesus Christ, brought to you by David Macarath. This is the devotion for April the 3rd. He that believeth and is baptised shall be saved. Spurgeon says, We have selected for our present reading a chapter which illustrates the difference between the law and the gospel. Romans 10 verses 1 to 21 Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. Spurgeon says, The true spirit of Christianity is that of love and sympathy. It leads to prayer even for persecutors and to hope for the most obdurate of men. Paul pleaded for the Jews. Verse 2 For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. Spurgeon says, Do not deny the good points in others, even if they are not all we could wish them to be. Verse 3, for they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believeth. Spurson says he fulfills the law's purpose for us and when we have him we have all the law requires. Verse 5, for Moses describeth the righteousness which is of the law that the man which doeth those things shall live by them. But the righteousness which is of faith speaketh on this wise, Say not in thine heart, Who shall ascend into heaven, that is, to bring Christ down from above? Or who shall descend into the deep, that is, to bring up Christ again from the dead? But what saith it? The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of faith which we preach, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Spurgeon says, Precious gospel, not doing but believing saves us. We have not to do or feel great things, but simply to trust. Verse 10. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and Greek, for the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Spurgeon says, think over this verse, for it ought to comfort even the most depressed seeker. Real prayer will be heard sooner or later. Verse 14. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah saith, Lord, who hath believed our report? So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Spurgeon says, Be constant in attendance upon the gospel ministry, and be devoutly attentive while hearing, for it is the way by faith which faith comes. Verse 18. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily, their sound went into all the earth, and their words unto the ends of the world. Spurgeon says, Alas, all hearers do not become believers. The many hear with deaf ears, and obey not the truth. Verse 19. But I say, did not Israel know? First Moses saith, I will provoke you to jealousy by them that are no people, and by a foolish nation I will anger you. But as Isaiah is very bold and saith, I was found of them that sought me not. I was made manifest unto them that asked not after me. Spurgeon says, Sovereign grace sometimes saves the most unlikely, while those who sit under the gospel harden their hearts and perish. Beware of resting in outward privileges. You must possess real faith in Jesus. Verse 21. But to Israel he saith, All day long I have stretched forth my hands unto a disobedient and gainsaying people, Spurgeon says, so that they were sincerely warned and lovingly invited, yet it was all in vain. Shall it not be so with any of this household? God forbid. All the doing is completed. Now it is look, believe, and live. None can purchase his salvation. Life's a gift that God must give. Grace through righteousness is reigning, not of works lest man should boast. Man must take the mercy freely or eternally be lost. 
Father, thank you that uh, we are saved by faith alone, in Jesus Christ alone. If salvation were by works, Father, then we could not be saved. If obeying the law was that means by which we could enter heaven, Lord, then we would be excluded, for we have broken your commandments, for we are guilty, before we are sinners by nature. Thank you that it is what Jesus has done, our beloved Saviour, the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you that it's what he has done alone that saves us. And believing in him, we have salvation, the forgiveness of our sins. Father, help us to love and rejoice in the Lord Jesus Christ, to worship and, and, and adore him and to worship you through him. Father, we ask and pray, therefore, that our sins would be forgiven for his name's sake and that you'd help us to serve and follow him this day. This we ask in Jesus' precious name. Amen.